woman's one personal testimony caused me to read the Bible without their books. And in a series of, it took about a year, but I found out that Jesus Christ wasn't Michael the Archangel. That's it. Pastor Blizzard, I got a question right now. It's concerning Jesus Christ also. In 1914, is it true that Jesus Christ came to earth? That's what they say. Would you elaborate on that? Charles Davis Russell, through calculating the interior passageways of the pyramid in Egypt, took that weird, strange, occultic junk along with the, the writings of a guy named Miller who predicted that in 1844 Jesus was going to come back and he didn't. He took those, those calculations and mixed it all up to an amalgam and said that 1914 was going to be the end of the world and Jesus was going to come back. The Jehovah's Witnesses don't know that, by the way, Brother Moore. They, they don't know that he took the interior the measurements of the interior passageways of the Great Pyramid and calculated that. But it's, it's on my website, and they're reading it. So anyway, that's where they came up with the date 1914. Now, the end of the world was supposed to happen in 1914. It didn't happen. Do you know the greatest enemy of a false prophet? Time. How many false prophecies do you have to utter to be a false prophet? One. Let's see, if you're a prophet of God, you've got to be 100% accurate. You can't say, I just made a mistake. I had a guy write me the other day, can't you forgive them for making mistakes? I said, sure, I can forgive them for making mistakes. But they didn't make mistakes. They made false prophecies. And they predicted the end of the world seven times. You know, you read in Deuteronomy, the test of a prophet. You've got to be 100% accuracy. There's no room. If, if, a, if a prophet could say, well, this is going to happen, it doesn't happen, he said, I just made a mistake, there would be no such thing as false prophets. Anyway, that's what 1914 is. Of course, the end of the world didn't happen, so they changed it and said that Jesus Christ came invisibly in 1914. Nobody knows it but Jehovah's Witnesses. Now you do. That was one thing that really shook me up when I started reading the Bible, and I bought me a new Bible, and it had those red letters on there. And Jesus said, no one knows the day and the hour when I'm coming. He said, wait a minute now. I was always taught he came in 1914. How do they know? And Jesus said, nobody knows the day and the hour. He's going to come suddenly on the clouds with angels. Everybody's going to know about it. All eyes will see him. He's not going to sneak in. In fact, Jesus said in Matthew 24, if someone says to you, oh, he's over here, he's over there, he's in the secret place, you better watch out. <laughs> 